The bee colony's takeover of the backyard was swift and definitive, as the queen bee had recruited a top aviation general to teach the bees advanced aerial tactics. As a result, they quickly ousted the beetle warlords and forced the ant ground forces into submission, introducing a golden age for the backyard. With their sacred honeycomb well protected, they established steady supply lines of royal honey, partnering with the ant colonies for an elaborate tunnel logistics network. Despite their air ground dominance of the backyard, the queen bee's desire for power only grew. She knew that total control of the neighborhood hinged on expanding her bee supply lines to one critical resource, the community flower field. And so, she ordered a sweeping two-pronged attack, her bee aviators by air and the feared fire ant special forces by ground. Instead of another swift victory, however, the bee and fire ant forces were met by a surprise attack from the supersonic dragonfly air force. Meanwhile, as the air battle raged above, the fire ants were ambushed by praying mantis mercenaries, a deadly yet largely independent force 